Guys, it's our last day at Evistu. It's a sad day. Um, I'm just gonna drive my car. I don't know if they've been able to figure out what's going on with it or if it still has the over-centering issue, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanna put a bunch of laps in, get as much practice as I can before I go back home where I have to wait like a few weeks between events. The Cresta is back and it's finally fixed. I just did a couple test laps on North Course. The car feels absolutely amazing now. To spice things up a little bit, I mic'd up the exhaust and the engine bay because I know you guys liked that last time and I'm gonna show you the difference since North Course is a great point of comparison since you've seen me do so many laps on it of how the car is now. Now I don't know exactly what was the solution yet. I know it had something to do with the knuckles. I just don't know the specifics. So hopefully we'll find that out a little bit later today, but for now let's go get some laps in. All right guys. Back in my car again and it feels great. Let's get it. Ooh, that was almost backwards. Load it up a little bit. Get ready to check out the steering. Oh, I was doing it all by myself. I could obviously be helping it, but I'm just kind of doing it for a point of explanation. Look at that. Car's driving itself. Welcome to the world of autonomous driving drift cars. It's amazing. Woo! Haha, <laughs> it's so fun when my car works right. Nicole, you notice it's snowing? It's it's snowing, you can't see it on camera, but it's snowing. Look, I'll try to catch a flake. Before the track gets slippery, <laughs> can you film a uh, outside clip for me? Yes. Nicole specifically asked me to run some laps on Toge, but as I said before in the other videos, I didn't want to run Taylor's car there because it is kind of sketchy, and my car still wasn't figured out. So now that my car's figured out, I think we're ready to rip some laps on Toge. If you guys don't remember it, this corner might uh, refresh your memory. It's one of the coolest, almost like a back road style track, pretty narrow, lots of hairpins and stuff. Super, super fun. My tires are pretty cashed out, which is ideal for a track like this because uh, less grip actually makes it easier. But I suppose I have a decent amount. It's just on the outside edge. I'm pretty worn from north. This is where you fry your tires. drop a wheel and make it happen, but it's kind of sketchy, so I don't really like to do it. I pulled the handbrake a little early there. This is where I always off. but we'll see if we can get a better one on the second lap. Poor clutch. And tires. This would have been so sketchy with how my car used to feel. I should really try to do it the other way where like you go straight through that section because it's way way easier but it's sketchy That's because <laughs> you like it i respect your driving so much thanks he's up there i can hear him Nicole 
was starting to feel a little nauseous. Completely understandable on this course. I think that was the cleanest I've ever linked that part. That part could have been better, but... Always gotta be something to improve on. hanging there oh just, a lip. oh just a lip just aired up the tires to 50 psi as advised by aaron because i guess with the minami course um you really don't want it to grip up on that back section after the jump so uh it's aired up probably would have been cool to try it in the rain if my car felt a little bit better but uh i'm gonna give it a go so i'll stay here at episode all right so we're here at minami and i'm trying to work my way up to the jump it's pretty scary though not really knowing what i'm doing I think I'm capable of the jump, but part of me just kind of wants to wait until the next time it rains. I just don't know that I feel ready yet for it. I'm just not feeling super confident and I think I'd rather wait. It's the level of grip that my car has and everything is kind of scaring me. Like I can feel it kind of... Like I can feel the car's balance kind of get upset by the jump and I can understand how to make it work and probably can do it. But it's just not worth it to me right now. I want to make sure I have a car for next trip. No. As much as I like to do the jump today, I think I'd almost rather wait for it to be wet and then do it then. So I could be a little more confident in it. I'm just not feeling it today. And I think I'd rather wait. It does feel really cool though, just driving over it, how it kind of upsets the balance of the car. It's so scary with the tire wall and everything. So you gotta stay on throttle to drive yourself away from it. I kind of want to try to link all of Manami. I think that'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> rev limiter! All right, get in the third. Grr. <laughs> I feel like it's good practice just kind of doing what I'm doing by the wall and getting a feel of what to do at the bottom of the section before I start doing the jump. Whee! See, if you don't have a working handbrake, this track is sketchy because your car wants to straighten out and then it kind of snaps back into the wall and does what your car wants to do. Come on, 
Paris. Ah, there we go. Poor transmission. And tires. They both aren't really liking this track. Fifty PSI helps. We <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible to mount to that section. My car's probably getting pretty hot. Yeah, it's actually good. I'm probably just frying the tires right now. <laughs> Sorry, tires. I don't know if I'm ready for the wall. I'm gonna ride along some? Yeah, maybe. That'll be cool. so easy. It is if there's no fear, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. If there's any fear, like, I can't come out here sometimes and I'm not feeling it, and it's not good. You know that's I mean? that's kind of what I was feeling like. I was just like, I don't know that it's the day. No, I feel like that all the time sometimes. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't, like, for instance, my, my knuckles felt bad like yours before. It's terrifying. That was a good save. What did you do right there? Oh, I just... Did like, you apply the foot brake to kind of keep it at sideways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I don't feel like it's going well, I just keep it in the middle of the track gently, and I don't hit the brakes hard or anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the car bounced wrong, and we weren't going fast enough, like I wasn't on the gas, so the car unloaded and loaded. Uh-huh. Felt sketchy. So you don't want to focus on the jump so much, you want to look past it. So like... So on that one, we weren't going fast enough. Uh huh. It's funny how, like, the first time we nailed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up mid tandem. That was fun. I'm glad I didn't do the jump because I got my tires spinning around now and I almost thought about doing it too. That would have been funny. Dude, you're killing it. I think like, I, this is by far my favorite track. Yeah? Like the back section for tandems, it's so good for practicing because like Ooh. third gear gives you a lot of room to kind of like adjust your line and get up close to them. And then it's long. The transition, like it's not the best track for learning transitions behind people. I think North Course is better for that. But for just like the getting close to someone during one turn, it's sick. I love it a lot during one turd. What? <laughs> you said one turd. Oh, I, I like, the last time I was this close to doing the jump, because behind Aaron it gave me confidence, but then I'm glad I didn't because my tires just cashed out. I think I'm gonna start working myself up to the wall. All right, it's a start. I mean, I don't know if I would count that, but <laughs> I give it a little clutch kick. Oh, 
Aaron said when that happens to just stay in the middle through a little bit too much angle. <laughs> oh boy, I felt like I got in there on that one. Hell yeah. Oh boy. got a little sketchy. I think I'm hitting the jump a little bit too far inside and it's making me jump a bit too much. Thinking the whole thing of Manami is definitely way down this trip. I didn't even think I was gonna do the jump today, so I'm very happy that I manned up and made it happen. Hell yeah. Happy Adam. Great way to end the trip. Rad. Thanks man. Yeah. Dude, that's so scary but so fun. You had like all four tires off the ground and when you came down sparks like, no way it was really really cool oh i hope there's good video it was really good hell yeah that was the best way to end my trip yeah if the car's still in one piece yeah well the car's still in one piece i did it i didn't even think i was gonna do it earlier like i'm hyped one of the things that gave me a lot of confidence to do the jump was watching aaron not necessarily when he did it perfectly but when he messed up and he didn't die and like kind of how he got out of the situation so like if he was coming up kind of slow you just kind of keep in the center and foot brake lightly so that gave me more confidence understanding that i could not go balls to the wall and not crash like there is some room for error and that gave me enough confidence to kind of work my way up to it because that's usually what i like doing i'm not like the type of person that just goes at something is like ah first go so very 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 happy that i went for it Oh, it's just 88 miles an hour. Found up a bunch of new tires, so when I come back, they're already all set up. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I've used the place where I learned to wear gloves when I'm uh, handling tires because all the little like wires and stuff from them being all burnt up just cut you like crazy. I've also learned that three-piece wheels are very difficult to mount tires to because it's reverse mount and it like has to be upside down and it just causes a hassle. But I'm learning. I've gotten way better at mounting tires this trip. For our last night in Nianmatsu, I wanted to eat at an actual Japanese place, so we're going to a sweet ramen place. Nicole's stoked. Apparently you have to order from this machine, and Aaron can't figure it out. <laughs> I think you need to put money in first. 
Not too certain about what any of this oh, stuff shit. is, but uh, Adam, it's the iPhone X. Nicole's stoked on her ramen. And on the iPhone X. Hey, I'm not. <laughs> she doesn't give me the ramen. I no, she doesn't. Best ramen I've ever had in my life. If you guys want to go to it, you could try your best to type this in in Google, but you probably won't be able to figure it out. It's next to this big K's in Neon Matsu. So, what'd you do? I dropped my butt. Everybody's playing in the massage chairs. Aaron's over there exercising. <laughs> I think they think that uh, Shredder's actually gonna buy one. <laughs> the whole store has been helping Shredder. Look at the vibrating foam roller. It's like hopping around. So my biggest problem with the coffee here is not that it just tastes bad, but the fact that it doesn't taste like there's any coffee or caffeine in it at all. Because most of their coffee comes from the little machines that, uh, I don't know how I could explain them. Like you would see at a gas station that makes cappuccinos and stuff. And I feel like there's no actual coffee, even though there probably is. It's just kind of weird. I'm not complaining though, I had great ramen. It's snowing! Look, it's snowing. Wow. Can we build a snowman? No. Do you want to build a snowman? No. It's so beautiful. Do you want to build a drift car? <laughs> I know you don't want money anymore. <laughs> this is our very last night here. I'm gonna miss this little cabin in the woods so very much. I got word on what was actually wrong with the Cresta this whole time. So apparently it was a very odd combination of parts and I guess they just didn't really work well together like the knuckles and the other steering components. The guys at Power Vehicles have literally spent so long trying to figure out the car for me and I'm incredibly appreciative that they figured it out. It's really awesome that the car's figured out now so when I come back it's all ready to go, it'll feel great, and I'm really excited. I don't think we could have ended this trip on a better note. I'm so stoked on doing the jump at Manami. I had a blast driving, Nicole had a blast driving. And even though our trip here at Ebisu is done, we are now going into Tokyo and those areas. We're gonna do some fun touristy stuff. We might get involved with a little car stuff with Noriaru, AKA Alexi, AKA my idol. It's not funny, I'm being serious. Super serial. Anyway guys, I want to thank you so much. I know I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on these episode videos. They're a blast to make and I'm really glad that you enjoy them. I'm gonna have a playlist linked in the description. So if you missed any of the videos from the series and want to check them out, um, I tried really hard to keep it interesting each day, driving different tracks, filming different methods and putting as much effort as I could into it to create entertaining content for you guys. So I will see you tomorrow, so long as we find Wi-Fi and are able to make a video. And give this video a thumbs up if you are super stoked to see me in the Japan videos this time. Oh, Nicole thinks I that- I have to convince Adam, he's like, oh no, people don't care. I way. did not say people don't care. You're like, I made these Japan videos. <laughs> I am the star of this show. I deserve a raise. Look I deserve that. more what cars. I deserve a 180SX. When you say